My name is Ray Harbord and I'm part of the Centre for Pervasive and Sensor Systems here at UCL, a team that's led by Professor Stephen Hales. Now we're a multidisciplinary team with skills ra ranging from electronic engineers who design these uh, boards with sensors for us through to software engineers and at the other end mathematicians who help to uh, develop mathematical models and techniques for analysing the data um, that, we, that we gather as part of our research projects. Our research is mainly collaborative and so we work with scientists in many other fields um, such as uh, vets from the Royal Veterinary College and so we have had projects where we have monitored snow leopards for example we're working with paediatricians at the Institute of Child Health to monitor children with autism. And we also had some involvement with training um, open water athletes for the Olympics. But uh, that brings me on to the Engeduino. How did we get here? Well, I'm just going to switch it on. Press the button. OK. Uh, and then I'll switch it off again afterwards, it's very bright. Okay, so sometime last year, in around March, April, the electronic engineers in the team decided that they wanted to develop something to give away to uh, parties of school children who came into the department um, so that they could have a hands-on programming experience for an hour and then take something fairly cheap away with them. And that's uh, the main reason why it was branded with the uh, Faculty of Engineering E. What we found was, when we started to have school parties in, was that kids and, young, and the young people loved the immediacy of being able to set the LEDs alight after just a few minutes. It's an Arduino-based board, so you can use the standard Arduino IDE. But also, it gave a lot of breadth um, for teaching because of the variety of other sensors on it. So I think that the latest prototype we have has a few more sensors, but for example, here you can see that the um, light sensor um, is, hi is highlighted on the front of the board. There's a thermistor for measuring temperature, um, an expansion bus, so students can also attach it to other devices, such as um, somebody's used it with a microphone. Um, there's also an accelerometer, so you can use it as a level, and so students can learn about which way is up, and a magnetometer, so that students can um, use it or develop a basic compass um, using it. So, in the end, what we learned was that it was suitable for teaching over a very wide age range. So, today, for example, we've had parties of 11-year-olds in, and they have really enjoyed exploring um, some of the uh, functionality. But also, um, before the start of term, we gave one of these to our undergraduates, who most of whom probably haven't programmed before, and told them to come back in the first week of term and tell us what they'd done. So the birth of the Engeduino has been fortuitous in terms of what else is going on nationally. So as John alluded to, the government have mandated that computer science is now taught in schools. And in fact, the Russell Group have just announced that um, computer science at A-level will be acceptable or, or indeed uh, preferred for many of their engineering uh, degrees. And that's really good news for us. So the government has also mandated that universities step up and play their part. And they've asked universities with no extra funding, I hasten to add, <laughs> uh, to step up and join a national um, network uh, called Computing at Schools with schools, um, and, that, and it's called the Network of Excellence, to promote computer science teaching in schools and to help 
upskill the teachers. So in Camden, um, and further afield in fact, um, we will be using our Arduino as a key part of that.